Kaya nakalive na mga bes. Kabahan na kayo. What's up, what's up? Hello. Hello. Shout out to pala. Wait, ibig sabihin, kita na nila tayong lahat? Oo. Ay, boy. Mirror yung camera. Mirror din sa inyo. Ay, take na inyo. Ano din nyo? Kaya nyo mag-online sa messenger para mas madali mag-usap habang nagla-live. Tingnan nyo. Pwede pa sa akin yung ano, yung i- uh, ano? Itapap? Oo, oh, oh, as long as ano, may i-deliver siya. Well, English yung nasa script ko. Same. Yung... <laughs> Ay, siya na yung English siya Tatahol pa yung aso. Background music. Tapos <laughs> may sipin pa ako ngayon. Tamang ano na lamang yan. Singhat-singhat muna. Yeah. <laughs> Ay, wait. Kita na ba tayo ng sambayanan dito? Abby? Siguro. Na. <laughs> Nine. Five. Uy, oo. Oh, oh. Yes, we are live. We are live broadcasting at Oriental Mindoro. Are there everyone? Is... Okay lang ba yung bike ko? Mm. Ah ah. Okay. Kaya ulitin mo nga. Ano yun? <laughs> Pero ano na yung podcast? O, sana all mga naka tayo, ha? O? Naligo kayo? Hindi kayo naligo, no? Si Rika lang ang naligo. Naligo ako! Sana all. Nagigising ko lang, eh. Sana ba, eh? Nakakakaba. Tapos nag-brown out, ano? Run. <laughs> Gina ba? Nakalive na daw tayo eh. Oo. Oh, oh, may tayo, tayo ng ano. Simula na. Mga Pero ano. Ulitin mo. Ano yun? <laughs> Meron din akong ganun eh. Welcome to DZW. <laughs> <laughs> yun sa kanina. Run. <laughs> Hanggang magtapos, naka-open cam tayo. Ano? Oo, oh, oh, try. Ano? <laughs> Para uh, uh, support dun sa mga naka-open cam. Tapos naka-open cam tayo. Dapat lahat pati na nanonood naka-open cam para fair. Alam ko. Wala ko. Ano, comment section. Nasa YouTube nga sila. Yan, nagsend na si Sir ng link. Ano si Rin Tinisher? Nakakahiya sa klase natin. Ba't ako kinakabahan ngayon? Kanina hindi. Sabihin nyo ano? Ang nakas pa ng loob ko mag-oo kay Laren. Ha? Ba't ako kinakabahan ngayon? Kanina hindi. Rika, ikaw na lang ang bumalik sa akin. Nalagay eh. Oye, ayoko. Kasi ko na lang yung friend. Nagay eh ko nga. Kanina yan. Ah, hinata. Hindi na na a dyan. Sa YouTube. Ay, hindi. Hindi sa akin. Nagay eh ko na sa level viewers namin. Hello, hello everyone. Yes po, nandito po tayo sa itong siyong uno do stress punto singko radio alert o. Luka. Ang sabi, mag-reavit mo. May tatahol pang aso. Sumba daw muna bago mag-start. Kaya nga, sumba daw muna kayo. Yung Sir, exam. <laughs> Nakapundya mo pa nga ako sa pambaba. Hindi pwede tumayo. Nakapambahay yung sa baba. 
Hindi po, naka-short ka lang, ano? Ako walang katayo. Sino naka-laptop? Gat sila, tayo nung naka-cellphone. Screenshot kayo. Kanina pa ako nag-tape. Sige, sige. Ang muna to si Lorraine, hindi nagsasabi. Game. One, two, wait lang, nasa niya screenshot? One, two, three. Pagpangit pa. ako dyan, delete mo yan. Alam, pangit nga yung pangalan dito. Tsaka, Mir- one, pa. two. Ang tama na. Play tayo sa YouTube. Ah, isa pa. Isa pa. Sige. Sino mag-repeat ako ulit? Okay. Sila rin? Sige. Okay. One, two. Isa pa. Tama na. Pag ako Ay, epic dyan lang, eh. Oh, sa mga Wala, early man. bird na viewer niya. Hello, Ay, hello. online mo yung pasahan ng mga exam, ganun, sa ano. Paalis ako ng 7, paluwas. Sure. Hindi ata, parang ganun din. Sana ganun na lang ulit. Tapos ang enroll mo. Hi, John Carlo. Sino pa dito? Hi. Si Christian. Sana manood kayo guys hanggang huli. <laughs> Bear with us. Baka daw manawa. Ang haba kasi ng reporting. Diba? Medyo mahaba. Mga ano kasi ito eh. Mga ta. Pinaigsi ko yung sa akin ng very light. Oh, and then, medyo konting summarize, summarize din. Ako wala si Ramaray. <laughs> wala ka. Ang hirap namang ipaliwanag. Yung sa akin, dali-dali. Hindi ko lang kung saan pepes to. Balik to Dapat pala pinaliwanag. Pinasend ko muna kay Kaide. Si Kaide ang pinagpaliwanag ko. Hello. Hindi ko nga maintend. <laughs> Ay, na maglagay na. daw tayo ng queue kapag ililipat ang slide. Sabi ni sir. Should we say next? Papa, yung mukha natin sa ano. Next. Sa YouTube. Ano ba? Ako na hindi nalunood si Wait. Ano meron? Ay, mag-intermission muna tayo. Ikaw na lang. Ikaw daw, makakasaya. Masaya daw si Sophie. Ano? Tapos kakanta daw si Rita. Ay, ang ganda-ganda suot niya sa pantaas, patingin yung pambaba. Ay, nakapambahay pa yun. <laughs> <laughs> Nakapantulog pa talaga kanina si Carrie yan. Hindi ka nag-iisa. <laughs> Ang panga talaga mirror Parang ang, ang sagwa tumingin sa camera Tama, papunta ako dito Papunta ako doon Pero nandito yung ulo ko Pero hindi ka mirror sa amin Sakto lang yung eh? mukha mo Ooh, We have 20 audience Hello 25. Alam ko na pagka nakaano tayo kapag naka 30 start na. <laughs> 100 daw sabi ni sir. Eh? May goal. <laughs> May goal. Ilan lang tayo. Pag naka 100 tayo mag start. You know, waiting for the viewers 100 ang expect hindi pala 100 ang expected viewers pa. expected lang pala so sama din ang ibang section uh, 26 na yun ano no 26 we have 27 hi ma Marcela hey, hello po <laughs> shout out po sa mga nanonood na teacher hello hello what's the time Magkasama. Yun, may talent. Umagang kay ganda pala. Clap snap daw. 
Paru-paru G. Kaya hindi ka mayroon. Shout out from Iraq. Mga pambahay pa ako. Layo naman. Ano ba maganda? Noong oras na sa Iraq. Nasa Iraq daw si Mama Rosella. Ay, wow. Nasa US. Nasa Canada po pa. 9.30 time sisimula. Alam niyo to, alam niyo to. Dali, gawin natin. Bitin ka ka hindi. Ha? Hindi ko yan alam. Hindi ka nalunod sa TikTok? Kasi nyo inaan mo, pinakausap. Tutorial daw. Maraming. Tututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututututut
<laughs> ano hindi ka? <laughs> hindi ko nga yun alam. Ay. <laughs> Four minutes. Yung grupo namin sa Gen Bio, guys. Hindi pa napapan. <laughs> Mang report. Yan, 31. Tapos sa mo. Start tayo na. Sino hindi pa nagpapasa ng report niya? Kano? Name drop. Hindi pa kami nag-report. Hindi <laughs> pa sa rin po siya ng record nila. Start tayo na. Sino hindi pa nagpapasa ng report niya? Name drop. Wala. Live tayo, guys. <laughs> 33 na yun ang nanood. Nakakahiya. Hi, Hi, Sheila. Hi, Shane. Hi, Cyril. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> Kasi pag niyo mag-comment, ha? Uy, 34. Sino yun? Hi, Kyle. Abigail Mendoza. Shout out. Astig, hindi pala kita ang mukha ko sa ano, sa YouTube. Kasi nung mga ngalan na lumalabas. Eh? Yung sa amin din? Hindi, kita sa inyo. Kami lang, ako lang. Naka-off cam kay. Ay, hindi. Kita sa inyo, kami lang, ako lang. nag e din yan. 928. Last two minutes. Two minutes. 9.30 ba ang simula? Uh, Holy Spirit activate. Holy Spirit activate. <laughs> With that activation. Live from ABS <laughs> Parot. Pag niyo po kaming inyod. Yung pang mga pangalan. <laughs> pangalan lang yung kita. Hindi. Hindi din sa iyo. Nga pala guys, follow nyo kami sa YouTube. Ay, si Sir pala. Subscribe kayo guys. Endorse. Hahatian daw tayo ni Sir sa kanyang sahod. Ano? <laughs> Like this. Oh. <laughs> si Raul. <laughs> Yan guys, na yung 29 na. Mga natahol na aso. <laughs> 9.29. Tagalog isang minuto na sa... We wrote one million daw, sabi ni Kiki Claudine. Yeah. Hi, Irish. Hi, Sai. Hello, Cyril. Shout out po. Pati kay Jersey. Saan nyo nakikita yung comment? Ari? Punta ko sa ano, YouTube, tapos yung live chat. I- ano mo na lang. I- turn off mo na lang yung sounds. Para di kami. Okay. Kapag nag-start, mag-off mic lahat, yun lang nagsasalita, or okay lang na naka-on mic, pero hindi nagsasalita. Sa'yo, ito mo. Okay, let's start. Ang kalat ni Cyril de la... Ah, de la Peña. Cyril Santos.
Okay, guys, it's a start. So, hello everyone, hello to our viewers, and hello to our teacher advisor in contemporary circus game. Shout out. Ay, wait lang. Wait a minute, please. Okay, so good morning, you all. Before we begin, or before we start, so let us first start in prayer from Miss Rita Mutagini. So, Miss Rita. So, good morning, grade 12. Let us be in silence for a while and feel the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Lord God in heaven, before we start this online class, we would like to thank you for keeping us safe and healthy. Until this moment, we still have our borrowed life and strength from you. We worship and praise your holy name. We thank you for granting us another day to learn effectively, even if it is an online class without interaction. We know we can be together like this in spite of the circumstances, because of your abounding love and generosity. May you bless us with witty brain to think fast and an inquiring mind to be curious on whatever knowledge we will learn today. Most importantly, bless us with your wisdom and a heart that will follow your commandments in order for us to become worthy in our studies. We hope that you heard our prayer. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, ako na ba kaya? So, hi guys. Good morning. At sa lahat din ng mga nanonood. Especially sa mga advice teacher. So, nais ko lang ipakilala sa inyo ang mga magre-report ngayon. So, first, kay De Fuente. Say hi, kay De. Hello po. Ako, Lorraine Galeana Lancia. Hi. Sophia Claret Minguela. Hello po. And kay Yelpi Cardal. Hello. And last is Princess Desilo. Hello po. So hi ka na rin, Rika. Kasi ikaw na rin. Hi! Huwag ka na muna umalis. So yun. Pwede na tayo mag-excite. Intro. So, good Hi, you all. Okay, so I'll start with, um, I think this is a quotation that it says that art is something that makes you breathe with a different kind of happiness. It is speaks where words are in, unable to explain. So, I am Corio Picardal. And I am Lorraine Villiana Landicho. So, I'll be well, stem. So, hello, beautiful people, and welcome to Contemporary Philippine Art from the Region. We are the Great World STEM students, and we're here to discuss to you about the contempora contemporary arts and performance in Mindanao. So, but first, what is art? For you, Kajel, what is your pers perspective in art? Okay, that was just, that was just so random. Um, okay, well, for me, um, art is a way of survival. I know it sounds a little bit dramatic, but art enables us to find ourselves and at times. So well, what a masterpiece, That's isn't it? Oh, sorry. Yes, it is indeed a masterpiece. <laughs> it's, it's all right, it's all right. I know, I know. Just let go of the nervousness. You can all do that. Let's just all relax. I can see all your faces. They are so tense. Why are you so tense, everybody? <laughs> I think it's yeah. 
<laughs> so, okay. So, word is unique as it is. So, let's start with the Philippines is located in the east due to 330 years of Spanish rule and 45 years of American dominance. It's part of the had been affected by the West. Strong Asian characteristics can be found in the music, dances, and arts of the highland and lowland hamlets where indigenous culture thrives. And also the art of cities are heavily influenced by Spanish, if you remember, and American influences. So, the Philippines' music, dances, and arts are classified using a geographic or ethnologistic approach. For example, traditional Tagalog music, which has a strong Hispanic taste, differs from Ifugao music and Islam influence, Maranao Kulintang music, bronze, bamboo, and wood are used to make numerous instruments in indigenous music, gongs of, of various sizes, and jigs, drums, flute, theater, lute, clappers, and buzzer are among them. So, epics relating the ancestry and exploits of heroes and gods, works songs related to planting, harvesting, and also fishing, the songs to drive away evil spirits or invoke blessings from the good spirits. And some are paintings to celebrate festive occasions such as marriage, war victory, or the settling of tribal disputes. And also the morning rituals for the dead are among the local genres in Mindanao. Indigenous people in Mindanao continues to practice this style of music and art like painting to this day. And now, let us all discover what local materials in Mindanao are potential mediums and what are the, their possible artworks. So, Philippines is going to be among the world's most inventive and colorful people. The various forms of art used in different places, each region having its own especially of good to be proud of. Natural resources abound in the Philippines, particularly in Mindanao. Even in the creation of art, we may maximize the use of natural natural resources. So art is of expression of art to an element of life. Okay, thank you. So that's all for our part, and now let's dig in deeper. Here are the table of contents. Where are the table of contents? <laughs> so first we have the arts and crafts of Mindanao, and then seconds we have the attire, textiles, and tapestry, and the last we have the contemporary artists in Mindanao and their masterpieces. So we're gonna all explore and discover their artworks and their differences on other arts or yes, something like that. So that's all for our part. Thank you, Lorraine. And now let's go to the arts and crafts of Mindanao and also its attire, textile, and tapestry. Hi, Kaide. It's your turn. Hi. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Again, I am Kaide Fuentes. I am here to discuss arts and crafts of Mindanao. So most of us know that the land of Mindanao is also called the land of promise the largest concentration of ethno-linguistic groups and culturally diverse people is located here. Most of the people of Mindanao believes that natural phenomena are caused by gods. New forms of artistic impressions resulted from conversation of the natives and the arrival of Muslim traders and merchants. Fusion of beliefs created a unique blend of spirituality and creativity. Next slide po. Ayan. Next, I am here to discuss about the attires, textiles, and tapestries of the Mindanao people. Next slide po. Sir, 
The Bilaan is an ethno-linguistic group that inhabits some parts of South Cotabato, North Cotabato, and Davao del Sur. The term Bilaan came from the term Bila meaning house and An meaning people. They specialize in embroidery, brass ornaments, and beadwork. So, women of the group wear heavy br brass belts with numerous tiny belts that hang around their waistline. Yan po, yung makikita nyong yan. Yan yung kanilang ano, brass belts. Kasama po yun nasa next slide. Yan. Okay. Another one is the, bago, the Bagobos. Next slide po. Ayan. The Bagobos are another group of people that live in Davao. According to anthropologists, the name of this ethno-linguistic group comes from the Greek words bago, meaning new, and obo, meaning growth. The Bagobos are considered the most colorful people of the Philippines, heavily embroidering their abaca clothing with beads and stitchwork. Kita naman po natin sa suot nilang yan. Nakikita natin yung kanilang abaca clothing at saka yung kanilang beads. Ayun yung mga suot nilang beads at yung stitchwork. They also produce fine metal craft, working in brass, bronze, iron, and are known for their metal boxes. So, meron bang metal boxes din sa picture? I think so. Or yan, yung gawa nilang yan ay metal craft na gawa sa either brass, bronze, or iron. So, next slide po tayo. So, next is the Tiboli tribe or the people of the lake. Lagi nilang suot ang kanilang malong or a traditional Filipino tube skirt that is made of hand-woven or machine-made multicolored cotton cloth. Next slide po. Ang kadalasan nilang mga ginagawa is hammock, basket, sleeping bag, bathrobe, or a baby carriage. So, the Tiboli distinguish themselves from other tribal groups by their colorful clothes, bracelets, and earrings. Tapos itong tribe na to ay famous sa kanilang complicated beadwork. Yan, makikita nating suot nila. Ano, napaka-komplikado ng kanilang mga beadwork sa kanilang clothing at kanilang ornaments. Sorry, sorry. So, this tribe is famous for their wonderful woven fabrics and beautiful brass ornaments. Ayan, to complement to complement their clothes ay gumagawa din sila ng mga ano ng mga beautiful brass ornaments. So that's all for my part. I hope may natutunan kayo. So we'll be moving on to the next part. Sino nga? The rain, the rain, ikaw na. Ay, sorry, naka, ano pala. So, contemporary artists in Mindanao and their masterpiece. So, next po. <clears throat> Red Genovita. So, yeah. Regina Vita is, was born in Davao City. He likes to draw character from the Japanese enemy. Soon, his possible turn into a serious interest in the, in the art. So, Davao City, Philippines, maaaring naisi ng mga artists at mahilig to sining ang mga gawa ng namumuong visual artist na ito. Na ito ay to Red Oni Genovita. In short, Oni Genovita. Genovita which is starting to make his mark with unique na nakaka-intriga na pop surrealist artist. So, kamakailan ay binuksan ng 25 years old artist ang kanyang ikatlong solo exhibition na pina pinamagatang children. Sa Art for Sha Gal Gallery of Contem Contemporary Art in the Davao City and the exhibit runs until April 4. So the anime or which called Japanese style animation sa local ng television 
ay sikat noon sa mga bata. As a growing child, si Red ay isang mga nabighani dito, which is hindi siya tumigil doon. And he started, he started sketching na katulad ng enemy character na iyon at nagkaroon ng collection for his title artwork. So pwede na po inek. So yan. Only solo ex so only solo exhibition include playhouse at the morning light gallery in Davao. So a recent solo exhibition, yan nga inulit ko lang. So ito na yung pinakampaliwanag. Matapos makumpleto niya ang BS Information Technology major on multi multimedia sa University of Immaculate Conception and also he made this hobby into a serious career which is pamamagitan ng pagpupursige sa fine art at the University of San Carlos in Cebu. Sa background, sa pagpipinta, nagsimula siyang tumutok sa paglikha ng mga likhang tining using its distinctive style. So aside from painting, he didn't see as a digital art. So some of his art Featured in the exhibit include Mean to Sorrow sa Floating, Inserting Ligate, at Delinkit Thoughts with, with Image of ch Children o tinatawag na may Cheryl sure, of Amorpus na Ulo at mga simbolo tulad ng Weeping Eyes, Flowers, and Clouds. So, in interesting, there is a feeling of mapanglaw, gloom looking at this painting contrary to, to its light so pastel color. Ang sining ni Red is influenced by artists like Mark Raiden, Ron English, Charlie Emer, Nawato Hattori, Hikari Shimoda, and Yoko Galbaki. His other also exhibition include Playhouse, 2018 in Davao City, at Together We Are Friends. Siya ay si Jose T. Goya Gallery sa University of the Philippines, Cebu, early this year. So, lumahok din siya sa, isa, sa ilang grupo show in a Cebu City 2015-2018, Art Portal Gallery para sa Contemporary Art Davao 2018, and the District Gallery is Quezon City 2018. So, next po. Yan yung pinakang example na artwork ni Red. So, next po. So, si Narmal Narciso. Norman or Noynoy F. Narciso is from Davao City. Kumuha siya ng panitikan sa Holy Cruz of Davao College. So, so hindi siya dumaan sa formal training into visual art in any academic institution na inspired siya sa mga dynamic art since of Davao at during his formative years. So, he involved himself sa mga creative production si each school and the church. He learned how to play the guitar at lumahok sa teatro ng komunidad. At among Gullis Elementary School sa Davao, he participated in the rondala at nag-aral din siya ng mga painting workshop in San Roque Elementary School. Mapapansin ng isa o karamihan of his artwork blur, the ontologies of music instrument, sculpture, at pag install Mabuk si Narciso in, work, in workshop organized by the Double Artist Foundation, in short, DAFI, at naging bahagi ng organization in early 2000. And he participated Eh, he participated sa isang project na tinawag na link under the DAFI. So, the list of exhibition na ginanap na under the banner of the Davao Artist Foundation ay medyo malawak at many of which were held at the Matinatone Square. So, like many Davao-based artists, Rogelito Kayas Jr. also taught him painting and drawing 
Natuto rin siya sa Ford Academic of the IT at sa Yuma ang Kailota de Pio sa pamamagitan ng DSI. Sa kalauna, nagsilbi si Narciso bilang coordinator sa National Committee on Culture and Arts, Committee on Visual Arts, Southern Mindanao, 2004-2011. So, he, he is current the art coordinator ng Mandung Christian Development and Training Center. Si Narciso ay sa ay kasalukuyang nagtuturo bilang faculty member ng Humanities Division of the Ateneo de Davao University. Siya ang artistic di director ng mga institutions, teatro, humanidate, at naging susi sa maraming paggawa ng theater. Of his artistic motivation, Narciso said the following natural is regional ang tawag sa paggawa ng be becoming an artist is strongly influenced by the community and opportunities at work. Ang dating kusang loob, which is become a lifetime calling. So, yun pa. So, yun. Sige, okay na po. Yan. Yan ang pinakang example ni Norma Narciso ng kanyang artwork. So, next na po. So, Jester Gumano-Wani was born on 1995, is from Lungaog, Santo Tomas, Davao del Norte. Next. Well, next na. Next. Ariel, next. Ala, hindi. Of his path, an artist, he said, being an artist is struggle due to an inconsistencies and economic, economical hindrance in art of production. So, according to Jester Gumano Wani, being artist is very struggle and stress in art production. So, kahit na daw ganun kahirap ang sitwasyon niya ay guma gumawa at nag-isip pa rin siya ng mas magaganda at makikinalang konsepto. Next na kaya. So, ito yung mga naging award ni Jester nung nung exhibit. 45th Shell National Student Art Exhibit in Ayala Museum, Makati. Bata-bata and SM Lanang Premier Organized under Kubal, Kublai, Milan. Exhibits at the Museum Nabuenya 2016 and exhibit organized, organized by the Final Art File Gallery in the City, Ecoland, Davao 2016. And last, is Art Blast 2019 hosted by Artasha Gallery and SM Mega Mall 2019. Next na karyan. Dennis Pinzo. Faith lang. Was born in Davao City. He first studied fine arts at the Ford Academy of His Arts, 2012-2014. Before he transferred to the University of Mindanao, where, where he graduated in 2018, among his mentor at the Ford Academy included Bajau Sachor. Kyle, next na. Contemporary art in Davao is hybrid given in colonial history and current situation is that weaves and diverse cultural fabric. So contemporary art in Davao is hybrid given its colonial history and current situation as a city that weaves diverse cultural fabric as this cultural 
cultural workers have been remaking his spaces of the city's struggling exhibits in prag pragmatic spaces of sever several decades now. They have always been resilient and resourceful. Sayal na kamyot ka ata. Hindi ka pa rin rinig, Garyon. Parinig na ka? Okay na, guys. That's good. So, Paula was born on South Cotabato before moving to Matina, Davao. She studied in the fine arts program of the University of Mindanao. Tushan has made her name in her popular pieces in acrylic and also graphite on small canvases. Um, she has been featured in Configure in Art for Space and Urban Chic Galleries on San Pablo, Laguna, which is in the year of 2018, and Art in the Park Manila, 2018 and 2019, and Art Plus or Young Bloods and Young Hearts, which is a group exhibit hosted by the Art Asia Gallery on 2019. Um, sir, next spot. Imposter is next. Next proposal. Yeah. Okay. So, Feliciano with her artworks from Pip Hope, which is the year-end exhibit of Art Portal Gallery. Her works are well known by Distorted, as you can see, which is, it's, it looks kind of weird on the first glance, but as you look at it a very long time, you can see its real definition, which is it's quite fascinating. And it's playful figures that play with a diverse set of media, also bright, colorful schemes, as you can see in the example, the social identity faces, and her stances towards the frailties of everyday lives or existence are some of the main subjects in her works. Sir, so next part. Okay, so we have Eloisa Elsa. So that is Eloisa, as you can see on the picture. A fine art student of Philippine Women's College of Bravo started her career in visual arts when she took her major in painting. And though she was a cartoonist in their high school publication, a journalist, is now on a venture of creating and sharing her works. She has been heavily influenced by several impressionistic artists like Vincent Van Gogh, a very, very famous and a legend artist that we all know. And I know that you are all familiar with Vincent, right? Well, she was heavily influenced by him. And also classical artists such as Rembrandt. Okay, so some of her paintings were displayed for sale in the recently concluded event, which is Art for Everyone's 2018 on last 27 to 31 at the SM Eklund Annex Event Center. Her artworks were inspired by the narratives of the human race that channeled her pieces in an anatomic manner. 
So that's all for my part. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and I will report the last part of our report. Number seven artist is Leonardo C. Comargo Jr. Next po. Leonardo C. Comargo Jr. So this is the artworks of Leonardo C. Comargo Jr. Past exhibit in the local content in include literation of art atelier of the Museo de Boeno in 2015-2017, of Reginae May in Felcris Central in 2016, merging current of the Matina Town Square in 2017, and other exhibit in malls and schools in Dabao. He also participated in Art in the Park in Makati in 2018, in Trospec at an Art Portugal Gallery of Contemporary Art in 2018. What does it mean to be Filipino under Canvas Gallery held at the Vargas Museum in Diliman, Quezon City in 2018? Configure at the Art for Surface and Urban Chic Gallery in San Pablo City, Laguna in 2018. Encuentro sa Labuyo at Art, first place in Urban Chic in Laguna in 2019, and Art Blast, Young Bloods, and Young Hearts hosted by Artasha Gallery in 2000, 2019. So, number eight, artist, Florante Norbolante. Next po. Lorante Nurbolante was born in 1995, studied in the University of Mindanao under Rugelito Juncayas, Victor Augustus Dumaging, and Alina Maclatadeo. Ang as an artist aimed to tell the stories from the society where he grew to share the cultures he witnessed and to illustrate the epics and to... and to... and to methodology from all the ethnic groups in the country. Supposedly, Angelo Perante is his inspiration for wait, pabalik nga po sir. So supposedly, Angelo Perante nor Volante is his inspiration for his masterpiece are the stories from their societies. Yeah, those who witness and through it also illustrates the the artworks such epic and methodologies so these are the example of his artworks next na po minder by art portal gallery for contemporary arts his work were featured in multiple exhibition in Davao city such as art Atelier exhibition in 2016 merging current in 2017 and sensitive Encounters Mindanao in 2017 and Ugnayan Art Exhibit 2017. So we can see on the right on the left on the right side of of the slide we can see the his famous artworks, which seems to be mysterious mysteriously implied as if it were a legend. Next. So, the ninth artist is Laya Bukirin. It's a doctor of philosophy in Philippine studies with main areas in Philippine art and culture. She co-curated the international traveling exhibit Field Deep Trip Project Asia at the 
Vargas Museum in 2015 and initiated related off-site created in the boards in Baguio City, Tanawan, Tanawan Leyte, and 98B Escolta. Yang Osulayo Bukirin has straddled various curatorial typologies in the Philippines in defendant practice, commercial, gallery, and state-run cultural institutions. So these are his examples, artworks. Fifty Shade of Philippine Art, Tati Serda, authored by Laya Bukirin. Visual art Tati Serda has worked in various media, including pen and ink and acrylic. But it is outstanding watercolor paintings produced during his productive tenure as a house artist at Gallery Genesis for almost 13 years that led to him being held as a grandmaster aquarel. Having reaped numerous awards and been exhibited in different galleries and museums, he has become known for his painting of children whose, whose pulpit and earnest may bait allow viewers a respite from turbulent times. So this valuable book, authored by Laya Bukirin, contains many of Totis Serda's award-winning watercolors, such as his cover and illustrations, sequential art for comic and publication, and his work in acrylics. It covers his artistic and light journey from his humble beginning to, to his entry to General Genesis, which led him to forget a strange identity in the art world, thus earning his place in the history of watercolor art in the Philippines. That's all po yung po aking part. So, thank you, Princess, for your report. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. So, art helped us to see new perspective in this world. A masterpiece that plays with our imagination and as young generation, um, hopefully we can continue to preserve and explore such talents. So again, we are the great 12 STEM, telling you to have a pleasant day. Thank you for listening. So guys, now that we're done on our presentation and our reporting, you can ask us a question about it. Hey, type lang kayo sa ating live chat sa YouTube. Hello, shout out po. <laughs> Hi, guys. 12 STEM, andyan pa ba kayo? Baka meron kayong mga tanong. Nakakakab. <laughs> Guys, baka may mga tanong kayo. Chat-chat na kayo dyan. <laughs> we'll try to do our best to answer your questions. Hoy. Ah, wala pala. May mga shout-out ba dyan, guys? <laughs> questions, questions. Go, Kaloy. <laughs> Sino si Kaloy? Go, Kaloy. Hi, Sheila. Sana may naintindihan kayo sa aming report, guys. Yes. Baka meron kayong tanong. Tanong kayo, guys. Any question? Congrats daw. Salamat. Ah, from lovely Makapuno. Sino si Kaloy? Thank you, lovely. Lahat kay late. So guys, thank you for the likes. Subscribe na rin kayo. Ano, 
because they're subs. We need subs. Hi, Carl. Hi, John Carlo. Ayan. So, kamusta naman daw yung ating online stream? Yung inyong mga signal, sabi ni Sir. Okay lang naman. Okay lang yung ano. Sa akin yung kanina. The thing lang is yung ano. Yung mic. Hindi ko agad na-open. Tapos akala, akala ni Sophie kanina, ikaw yung nag-ano nung sa ating presentation. Nag-next. Oh it's not me. Tapos ano nga ang tag dito? Shout na out. dito ako dun sa script na ginawa. Hindi ba ko yung font size? Ano? Fatima, si Cueva. Yan. Thank you guys sa mga nagko-congrats. Thank you. Uy, tatlo na tatlo tayo. May question kayo. So, yan, tatlo na lang kami masagot ng question niyo. Ay, wow. Well. <laughs> Ayun, shout out daw. Shout out kay Cyril, Dana Mitchell Sipilio, Giancarlo Lopez, Fatima Molina, Shin Reyes, Sheila May Castillo, Maureen Angela Batulan, Erika Bakay, Cyril Santos, Cyril De La Peña ulit, Anilao, John Soniel, Erika Bakay ulit. <laughs> Mga kaklase natin ito lahat, ah. Congrats, Greg Rodriguez. Sa lahat yung sumawa ng PPT. Yun. Thank you nga pala sa lahat ng nag-edit. Sa mga effort, thank you. Hindi Salamat lang sa aming... Salamat din sa ating napakasipag na mga pre- class president ba o STEM president? Si Lorraine? Real. Shout out kay Sir Lex. Sir, mamaya ko ng 11, ikaw close yung ano, yung Google Form. Shout out po kay Sir Lex. <laughs> Hi Sir Lex. Hello po. Thank you po. Masyado po malamig dito sa Canada. <laughs> Kamusta kayo dun sa Pinas, guys? Kaya nga. Ang hirap dito sa Korea. Daming opa. <laughs> Grabe dito sa Japan. Lagi kaming nakakulong. Shout out po. We're from Lunagoko. Proud. Lunagoko. Yes. Shout out po sa mga teacher na nunood. Ayan. Hello, hello. Yes. Which is yung ato talagang advisor sa ano? Oh, nag-chat pa sa akin si Lovely. Shout out ko daw siya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nag-away yung mga pizza ko dito, guys. Gusto <laughs> makanood ng online rambulan. Online na lang. Online rambulan dito. <laughs> To our, our advisor, kay Ma'am Marcela. Kung so, may question, kaya pwede niyong i-ano, i-tap. Ayun, wala na daw tayong final exam. Oo. Oh. Siya may sabi. Ah, sabi ni Sir Lexter. Ay, screenshot na, screenshot. Screenshot na yan. Oy. Mamay day ko yan. Okay. Wala na kayong, ayun. Anong pangalan? Ay, si Josh pala to. Kay Josh Yansa, shout out po kay Kain Fuentes. Awit sa'yo. Iyon. Yeah. Huwag kayo guys, alas 6 pa lang gising na ako. Mga ano, oras ko natulog. Maagad din, mga 8. Lagi akong tulog ng 8, kaya hindi nyo na ako natsa-chat. <laughs> ano pa nga? Ayon, ah, tawag dito. Ay, magkapit yun sa kulay. Tawag dito. Pro, uh, to all students daw dyan, uh, please check your Google Classrooms at yung mga hindi pa daw natatapos na activities ay tapusin na natin. This is your sign. Tapusin nyo na. Tapusin nyo na. Ito yung Guys, hindi pa nagsasagot ng Google Forms sa Earth Science, yung topic namin. Magsagot na kayo. 26 pa lang nakakapagsagot. Hanggang 11 na lang yun. Nakapagsagot. Yun. Kay Karil na lang talaga ako din nakapagsagot. Nakalimutan ko tingnan. 
Nood nood lang ako makalimutan ko muna. Shout out to the 33 people who is still watching and out the 32. Okay. Wow, ang sipag naman ng manonood. Hi kay Dek, si Jersey, Colleen Martin. Hello. Hindi na ko pa pinaglalaro at tong sa kulay na to kasi wala mapaglaro. Oh Malapit guys, subscribe, na subscribe ko and likes. Kita ko muna yung suklay. Ayun, bukas naman ay ang TVL. TVL. Shout out po sa nakaglasses. Hi. Sino kaya yun? Wala nang naka-glasses dito, diba? Kasama ko yun sa, ano, sa church. Shut up. <laughs> yung lagot ka kay De, pinasesendan ni Sir Lecter yung, ano, result sa Google for, sa Google. Awal pa daw po uh, si Kay De. Wala pa yung sagot. Kumayang kong 8 p.m. Hello do sa, ano, Yanza? <laughs> Oo. Oh. Hello, Yanza. Sir, extension daw, sir. Sabi ni Kari Yelise, wala pa daw po nagsasagot. <laughs> Uy, we have ano ha? 23 response. 23 out of ano? Ang unti na ang sagot sa amin. 40 tayo, no? 40 plus. Ah, uh, 40 plus. Papanoodin ko nga ulit yung sa inyo. <laughs> Medyo epic kami dun. Yan, until 5 p.m. Yeah. lang. Uh-huh. Okay, closing in. Yes. Thank you for the live stream that extended our Google Meet. So, thank you. Thank you, everyone. So, again, I am Coril Picardal. There are no other people. Hi, I am Kai DeFuentes. I'm Laring Villana. Why is it always the same? Laring Villana. So, again. So, thank you again. And thank you for watching and for those who support. Like and subscribe, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.